Welcome to Your Florida Lawn, the environmentally friendly way to grow and sustain a Florida-friendly landscape. Your host is Dr. Lori Trenholm, residential turf grass specialist with the University of Florida's Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences. Join Lori and her special guests as they offer tips and solutions to maintaining a Florida-friendly lawn. Homeowners often battle weeds in their lawns, and weeds can be a major source of annoyance. In general, weeds appear and thrive because the conditions in your lawn allow the weeds to outcompete the turf grass that's supposed to be growing there. How we do our cultural practices, how we mow, how we irrigate, and how we fertilize can help the turf to grow better than the weeds, and that can help to reduce your weed pressure. In other cases, though, you may need to use chemicals called herbicides for weed control. Most lawns are not going to be completely weed free and sometimes we will have to take steps to manage the weeds in our lawn. With me here today is Dr. Phil Busey from the Fort Lauderdale Research and Education Center. Dr. Busey does quite a bit of the research on weed control here in South Florida. So Phil, what are some of the steps that homeowners can take to reduce weed pressure in their lawns? Homeowners can do several things involving irrigation, mowing, fertilization properly, occasionally they may need to use some chemical weed controls, but most of our weeds can be controlled adequately through proper cultural management. And for instance, what should they do with mowing? Mowing should be done evenly and regularly at the same height, at approximately three to three and a half inches on a sufficient schedule so that no more than one third of the leaf clippings is removed at any one time. And what about irrigation? I know some weeds are very prone to wet areas, such as dollar weeds, sedges. Well, most people do tend to overwater, and particularly those that have a lot of dollar weed need to turn their sprinkler systems back to watering perhaps twice a week with about three quarters of an inch per application. Our research at the University of Florida has shown that between watering every four days and every two days makes all the difference between not having a lot of dollar weed versus having a lot of dollar weed. So the increased amount of irrigation uh, favors the dollar weed instead of the St. Augustine grass in some cases. Exactly. And you have research that exactly. shows that. Yeah, dollar weed really loves the water. Absolutely. And most people could uh, reduce their dollar weed problem by reducing their irrigation or their sprinkling to that which the grass really needs. The irrigating properly. Which is about yes. twice a week. So Phil, what type of products would a homeowner who's taking care of their own lawns use to control a weed like dollar weed? Well, there are products available to the homeowner through the retail outlets, but I would caution the homeowner to consider using a professional whenever possible because the professional turf products that are not available to the homeowner have a wider spectrum in the weeds that they control. Now let's talk for a moment about uh, the professional lawn care services. Do they have chemicals that can can control all of the weeds in the lawn? No, as a matter of fact, we have some very difficult weeds, including crab grasses and tropical sig signal grass that are, no longer have products that are legal and, and, and safe to apply on those weeds. And so there are no uh, commercial products for controlling crab grasses and tropical signal grass in St. Augustine grass lawns. So what are some of the alternatives that homeowners can use to reduce weed pressure in their lawns? With some of the more difficult weeds, there are really no good alternatives. I think one can deal with most of the weeds through proper wo mowing, watering, fertilization. But for some weeds, however, we do need to use chemical controls, either the, the types that homeowner can obtain at the retail outlet or, or better yet, in most cases, to hire a professional. And perhaps it's, uh, it's good to mention, too, that you know, with all of the emphasis on the fertilizers and the pesticides and the water that are going on lawns these days, maybe homeowners need to change their expectations for their lawns and maybe not expect to have a completely weed-free lawn because perhaps we, we are not able to achieve that anymore. Uh, but we can still have a nice healthy lawn in, in many cases. Lori, that's a great idea because that focuses on the positive, which is the healthy lawn is resistant to weeds and it provides us the benefits that we expect from a good lawn. So there's an occasional weed, maybe it's time to hire a professional. So thank you, Dr. Busey, for being here today and sharing your expertise with us for homeowner weed control. Thank you, Lori. It's a pleasure to be here. For the University of Florida IFAS Extension Service and Florida Friendly Landscaping, I'm Dr. Lori Trenholm with your Florida Lawn.
Thank you for joining us for this segment of Your Florida Lawn. For more information on how to maintain your Florida-friendly landscape, please visit our website or contact your local University of Florida County Extension office.